Alright guys, this is Nick here at North Central Illinois Custom Kydex. Uh, let's see, I got a new holster design here. Uh, it's not really anything new, lots of guys have been doing this for quite some time. Just something new for us here, something we haven't done before. Uh, before I get started, I want to uh, give a few thank you out, thank yous out. Uh, number one, to uh, Tony up in Michigan with uh, multi-holsters for these great... Uh, multi-mold holster bolts uh, dimensionally correct to the firearm uh, come pre-blocked out uh, pretty much everything that we would do to a real firearm or a blue gun prepping for a holster so thanks to Tony also like to uh, you know kind of give a thanks to John over in uh, at uh, Felster you know, he shared a lot of knowledge with the community over the the time he's been Bending Kydex, and uh, finally to uh, Coffee Bomb on the KydexPro.com forums for a uh, holster press that he uh, designs and uh, produces and sells to the community. So, under the holster, um, number one, this is a uh, SIG P290, very small, uh, almost in that micro compact, but it is a full 9mm, so kind of a neat gun, double action only. Anyway, the holster itself is a fold-over taco-style holster, and uh, I had never done one here with the, uh, this is also from Tony at uh, Multimolds. This is his fold-over mold injection clip, or foamy clip, as I call them. This is a first-generation clip, um, but the second generation just, as far as I know, a different hole pattern. Anyway, uh, this allows for inside-the-waistband carry, uh, with the ability to put this on and off your belt without uh, removing your belt, unbuckling your belt, doing anything like that. So, uh, especially for this size gun with this setup, if you're running out, you know, take the dog for a walk, run to the store or something like that, very easy to uh, grab and go, throw it on your belt, you're out the door. Uh, a few things I want to point out with the holster, thanks to the Coffee Bomb Press the and the... Uh, multi-mold here the sight channel is just razor straight you know you could not ask for anything better than that uh, no wave at all so that's kind of neat uh, second thing is you know we kept this pretty much as trim as possible what you notice with the gun in the holster is just the very bottom of the trigger guard here is exposed so that you can get a full firing grip without interference uh, from the holster okay other than that, it's nice and trim, so it takes up minimum amount of space. All the corners, especially these lower corners here, uh, have been rounded off for comfort. I'm not going to poke or jab you if you carry appendix or on the hip, behind the hip. Uh, the other thing is on uh, most of our inside the waistband holsters, we do polish the edges. Um, I don't know how good this shows up in the uh, video, probably not that well. but. Um, you know, we don't necessarily polish the edges for cosmetics or for the shine. We really polish them because it burnishes the edge over, like the corner here. So when this is uh, maybe against your skin or, you know, maybe a light undergarment, you know, you're not going to have a rough or sharp edge here that's going to cause any discomfort. Okay, so, you know, beside that, like I said, we're using uh, the multi-mold uh, over the belt clip here. Um, this clip is pretty stout. You know, it does uh, flex out so you can get it on and off, but I actually have tested drawing the uh, mold gun uh, out of the holster in nothing but uh, pajama pants. And, you know, the firearm came out, the mold gun came out, the holster stayed on the waistband. I was actually surprised by that. I'm not going to video that and show you guys, but it works. Uh, trust me. Uh, the other thing. Our right height here uh, has some adjustment you can see there. So at the standard height it's at now, um, you can see where your pants, your belt would normally be about here, which would allow you to get a full firing grip for your draw. Alternately, you can move the clip up to the higher holes here, and that would give you a deeper concealment. The uh, waistband of your pants or your belt whatever is going to be just about even with the bottom of the grip which is going to impede you getting a grip on the gun but it's going to make it uh, a bit more concealed so depending on your 
environment or what you're wearing or whatever does have that adjustability. Also, we have oversized the holes here in the clip and the holster by like a sixteenth of an inch or something like that. So you can loosen the screws and get a little bit of cant adjustment. Uh, I'm working on a design that would give you a broader range of cant adjustment, but for what this customer wanted, this should uh, be sufficient. Uh, so I'm really pleased with the way this came out. I'm looking forward to doing uh, more holsters like this. You know, just from using the multi-mold and the coffee bomb press, this draw is ridiculously smooth. Um, I know you probably can't really tell that in the video, but this really takes very little effort to draw, but it still is uh, very positively retained, you know. Um, does have just a little bit of play. Once you put this actually on your pants and, and tighten your belt around it, then all of that kind of little rattle goes away. But, you know, uh, one complaint or one piece of feedback we get from time to time is that the holster is great, but it's a little bit tight. We usually have uh, at-home ways people can remedy that. Uh, this one came out, I think, spot on, but, you know, that's subjective. Everybody is going to uh, want their holster be a little bit tighter, a little bit looser. So we're shipping this one out today. When the user gets it, they'll uh, let us know if uh, if they like it. So if you got any comments, you can post them below. I'll put a few links to uh, Tony over there at Multi Holsters uh, for the mold guns and the clips. And uh, kydexpro.com, you can find Coffee Bums Thread on there if you want to get one of these uh, presses. Other than that, I'm out.